I'll find the energy, their path of where they've been or they keep coming every night and manifesting. And this, oh, okay, yes. So this is where they would be seen playing and what they usually do is go in a circle. This is the historic Seabrook Wilson House at the Bayshore Waterfront Park in Port Monmouth. It's reportedly one of the most haunted homes in all of America. Joining us today was Jane Doherty, a South Plainfield woman who claims to be a psychic that can commune with spirits. And I do feel you would still find Abigail here at times, that you would be able to capture her picture or see her looking out to sea because she still remains here. What happens to me if I walk into the areas where I know that there's spirit activity here, my stomach is going to expand like I'm nine months pregnant. We literally just, just came around the corner and, and I was like, and I quick looked up and back and gone. That's Abigail. She will be seen. See, and my stomach is going out as I'm talking. It was almost like as soon as she saw us, it was just yes. poof. Yes. And, it, and that was it. The pirate, Robert, comes here, but he also seems like he wanders. He goes to different places now. He doesn't just, okay, okay. If I'm telling truth, my stomach will also go out. So what's the truth behind the ghost stories at the Seabrook Wilson House? Read my story on app.com to find out. Russ Zimmer, Asbury Park Press.